Hello guys and welcome back to another Boom Beach video. Today is kind of a re-upload, kind of. Uh, I Last Monday, uh, a week ago, I put out a Hammerman, Defending Hammerman video that I kind of failed on the editing part. So, um, I put it on private. And I'm going to re-upload it now. Well, not re-upload it, I'm going to redo it. But we're going to be doing three microwavers versus defending hammermen let's get right into this last time i kind of failed Ooh, we got a black guard here but last time i kind of failed um and it i did not go that far uh let's get those dark shards all right we still have seven we want to boost our machine gun damage here we want we want to give ourselves the best possible strategy we do not care about the mortars but um let's integrate some mortars over here actually we did not want the mortar health but i kind of want this and then usually what i do is i bring the shock launchers up a bit and that should be good so let's go into this um i do not want to convert because last time i ran out of gold so let's try and get these prototypes these wait these prototype modules that we get because i'm running low on them i was unable to get three max uh or three mark three um microwavers because I did run out of modules, so I'm going to try and go hard on the daily events, try and get those back, try and budget my, uh, or diversify my spending on it, make sure that I don't, like, use more th than one or the other, or whatever. Here, I'll, I'll go there and show you which one I ran out of. I think it was field capacitors that I have, like, one or two of right now. Um, uh, yeah, I got six of them, and then I have 102, uh, power rods, and then, like, 33 of the rest, so my spending is a little bit... Um, a little bit biased, but that's probably from the hot pots, if you guys know what I mean. You gotta love them hot pots. <laughs> yeah, uh, so we're gonna be hunting for fuel capacitors, um, in the future, and trying to spend some fuel rods a little bit more. Uh, I'm not really sure. I kinda wanna start doing, like, shield generators, uh, to just kind of even out the spending a little bit. Try and get it. I don't know. Leave, leave a comment down below on what I should do to, like, so I can save on fuel capacitors. Um, I'm, I'm open to the idea of changing up my base design too. So if, uh, I think if Lord Carnage, if you're lurking in the comments, do you have an opinion on this? I, tr I respect, cause you're like a veteran Boom Beach player that obviously is better than me. So if you have like a strategy on how to like save fuel capacitors, I mean, I could figure it out pretty easily, but we just got a fuel capacitor right there. But um, I kind of want a second opinion on this. We're getting another one with this attack. I want a second opinion. And if not one of you guys in the comments, I will... Um, I'll just talk to Christian about it. Uh, <laughs> Christian is coming back today to lacrosse. Because it's Monday. Well, it's Sunday when I'm recording this. But he's coming back Monday. Which means I'm hoping by Saturday we do a test stream. Probably not live. But in a couple weeks, we might have this stream up and running. And then as soon as I graduate, hopefully we do have a schedule so we can stream. Our goal this summer is to, um, like, build up our name as best we can before the school year, before we leave, and we're split up for a few months. Um, my, that, that's kind of what our goal is, and get, like, our brand name out there. We kind of want to be known for our content not from the game um so we're gonna try and change that a little bit and that might be a popular unpopular decision but we're gonna strive for it anyway um so we're we're just gonna try uh like try new stuff like streaming and all that to see if we can get another audience um and then we got the 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 classic Boom Beach fan where you guys have been following us for a couple of years. Um, that That's who I think it'll be unpopular amongst. But I think newer people might be open to change, which is fine. Kind of a strange topic to talk about right now because we don't have everything figured out. So uh, here we go, stage four. We we haven't even seen the microwave. We're just going against Defending Hammer right now. Uh, get the, get those shock launchers. I kind of want to spread out my shock launchers a little bit more because you can hit both of them with one shock and hammerman. I don't know how smart hammerman is, um, or if there's like a code or they just throw it in a general area every time. But uh, look at the microwaver destroy those riflemen. I think what got me last time is there was a scorcher or no, there was tanks that just tore through my no zookas. There's zookas because the microwaver couldn't um, 
reach the Zookas. So stage four was pretty easy here. We got two field capacitors. We're actually building up that uh, the field capacitor bank. So let's take out stage five here. It should be fairly easy. But then again, there is a Scorcher in here, and the Microwavers are not the best against Scorchers. That's what that's when a Doom Cannon comes in, um, or even a Shock Blaster. Uh, I wonder... I don't know. Tonight is when the Microwaver leaves, I think? And I'm not sure if we're getting anything new. This, this update was kind of strange. It just kind of opened up a cycle that I'm still kind of confused about, but I will get a hang of it soon. Okay, so that Scorcher went down pretty fast, and those Zookas, oop, we got a lot of Zookas and Riflemen. I'm glad there's not very, uh, a lot of medics in this. But, um, I think we're doing pretty well this attack. We do have a Rock Launcher that just went down, but our Microwavers are going to destroy those Riflemen, open, open up to the Zookas, and then this should be fine. We lost one Microwaver, the, the Mark II one. But, uh, okay, this one, I was getting a little scared for a second, but this, uh, this turned out fine, I think. Just a couple of grenadiers left that should get just taken out by a rocket launcher. There we go. A rocket launcher actually hits the troops, unlike grenadiers hitting the building, so we are able to take out stage five. Now, okay, <laughs> uh, we got a lot of, uh, we got a lot of modules there. So let's go, let's let's see what we're going to get. We're going to get 12 medics, riflemen, tanks, and warriors. So these three right here, the first three, are what the the microwavers should be good against. So I'm hoping they're like all in the second fleet. I was going to say second fleet when uh, the tanks destroy everything, but that's fine. Um, I think the warriors will just get destroyed as soon as they do walk into the radius. Uh, heavies might be a little more resistant. Well, they will be a little more resistant. I'm not sure how resistant, but I think our microwaver will do a pretty good job of taking them out. So we got grenadiers, riflemen, and heavies going up to the left side there. And this might be where it gets a little sketchy, but it looks like we're doing a pretty... Ooh, shocked one of the uh, microwavers. That's not good. Um, but this is where the microwavers are coming into handy. Coming in handy. Uh, okay, it looks like they're doing pretty good damage, but the thing I am worried about is the medics and the grenadiers. We want the medics to go inside the microwaver so that they do get destroyed easily, and we have all one microwave, two microwavers left, one destroyed, but it does not look like this attack will go that well. Looks like me boosting machine gun damage did not really do anything, but we are taking out quite a bit of medics. Oof, this did not go well. Jeez, Hammerman. I need to invest in ice or something. I don't know. Troop building damage. This was a lot down. Hmm. I might move the microwavers up, actually. So that they take out the heavies right away. Put them on the beach. Hmm. Okay. That did not go well at all. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, let's... Let's throw a microwave. Let's throw the microwavers in the front and see what that does. Hopefully they do not shock. Let's see if that helps at all, actually. We're going to put a boom cannon back here. Whoops. And we're actually going to throw a shock launcher out wide. Throw this one out wide. And then let's see if we're able to get closer this time. Okay, did shock one microwave, but that did not really matter. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see how well our microwavers do against the heavies. Ooh. Ah, I gotta get that double microwaver damage in. Okay, they're actually doing pretty well. The first fleet is practically down. It's getting taken out pretty fast, but the second fleet here might be a problem. As... I don't know. Will they? Grenadiers are going to do a lot of damage, but... Ooh! I think we're doing pretty well right now. It's when the tank's coming, that's when it's going to be a problem. Okay. Yeah, we took out the first couple fleets. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's no backline, though. Oh, no. 
What's happening? Okay, so a lot of the medics died in that fleet, but I don't know. I don't know, it's getting a little sketchy. The grenadiers are doing insane amounts of damage. Grenadiers in the back really kill you. Ah. Microwaver did had a valiant effort, and it did come to that. Shock launchers, rock launchers. Yeah, I think I need to invest in not building health for hammer. I think I need to invest in like 35% building damage. Wait, I wonder if I have one in the in the uh, sculptor. Hmm. Yeah, I think we. Mm, I'm not sure if it was any better. I want to go see if there. We're just gonna times it by four. I'm gonna see if we do. If we have a building damage, I'm gonna try it one more time. If we do have one in the sculptor, but that's a lot of troops we're trying to defend against. And then the sculptor in the storage. Now we just got troop health. <sighs> We're going to wrap it up there. Just under 500 power powder. So we are increasing a little bit. Kind of a fail. Microwaver, not the greatest against defending Ammerman. I think Hot Pot. A couple Hot Pots and Damage Amplifier. I think that takes the cake for best Hammerman defense. Or Laser Beam, maybe. I don't know. Leave a comment down below on what your favorite Hammerman um, defense is. Doesn't even have to be a prototype, but... I would assume it would be a prototype, but I guess we'll see you in the next Boom Beach video. Bye-bye.